Hi, Foxy. Hi, Daisy. Gma's here with story time with Gma. So today we're going to read from the Magic Carpet. Um, this is one big book with lots of little stories in it. So just to keep it simple, I'm going to start at the beginning. Okay. And I'm going to turn this just a little so you can see what I'm seeing. All right. Magic carpet. So in the front of every book, they'll list a table of contents. And that table of contents lists every story in the book and what page it can be found on. So with this, we're going to start with the lion and it begins on page eight. Lots of stories in this book, plenty of table of contents here. So let's start with a wise and foolish tale. Some folk we say are silly some folk were sure and wise but sometimes willy-nilly it comes as a surprise to find the wise men foolish and the silly people wise okay and here we have the lion. Okay, we're going to start. The lion. In India, long ago, there were four brothers of high birth who decided to journey together into a neighboring kingdom to seek their fortunes. Now, three of the brothers were deeply learned in all kinds of magic. But the youngest brother had nothing but his good common sense. As they journeyed on, one of the young men suddenly said, why should we be bothered with this boy here? He has no training like us in the secrets of the universe. He will disgrace us. He had better go home. No, no, said the eldest brother. We'll find something for him to do where his lack of learning won't show. Stupid as he is, he's still our brother. Let's see a little picture. So they journeyed on, and after a while they came to a jungle in the path. And they saw a heap of old bones. They stopped to look. The boy was first to see what the bones were. It was a lion, he said, turning to go on. But the proud brother stopped him. Wait a minute, he said. I'll show you something to make you open wide your stupid eyes. See? With a few words, I can call these bones together. He spoke the words of power. And as he spoke, the dry bones clattered together. And in a moment, there in the path before them stood the skeleton of the lion on its skeleton paws. The green of the jungle showed through its white chalky ribs. And then the youngest brother was surprised indeed. Let's, let's go on, he cried. I do not like the skeleton which stand, stands up and look into you without eyes. Why, you must be a coward as well as a fool, said the second brother, laughing. Wait a moment. I will show you a trick to match his. He too spoke a charm. And before their eyes, the skeleton turned into a lion with flesh. 
as well as bones, and a tawny coat, and a great mane, and eyes yellow as amber. There's the picture. All right. The youngest brother looked very uneasy. Do come now, he begged the others. It's getting late. We still have far to go. But when any, but when anyone has started a thing, it's hard to put it aside. Not quite finished. Besides, the eldest brother had not had a chance to show that his magic powers were as great as his brother's. Wait a minute, he said. You must hear him roar. With a single word, I shall give this beast life. At that, the youngest boy cried out in fright. But this is a lion you are playing with. Don't give him life. Or if you must, wait until I have climbed a tree. All three of the boy's brothers laughed out loud at his words. They were so taken up with their magic charms that they had no room in their wise heads for other thoughts. Still, the eldest brother was not kind. He waited until the boy had pulled himself up into a tree before he spoke the great words. Gagugulipa! Instantly, life came to the lion. With a roar, he leaped upon the three wise brothers and killed them. So all their learning brought them neither fame nor fortune. But when the lion was gone, the boy who had no learning but his common sense was still alive to climb down from the tree and hurry home unhurt. Try and turn the page. It doesn't want to turn. Okay. That story was a lion. Hmm. <laughs> so that's the first of many. We will have more to come. All right. Gima loves you. Mwah. Love you. Bye.